Hi. Hey, Marvin. How are hey. you? Hey. I'm still here. I understand. <laughs> so am I. Goody, Ziona is here. And Barbara is on Facebook and says, yay, tomorrow is Shabbat. <laughs> yeah. Sephora. Yay. Oh 
Behold how good and how pleasant it is when all of us dwell together. The bar Bahu et Adonai Habivorach. Praise be the one to whom our praise is due. Baruch Adonai Habivorach Leolam Vaed. Praise be the one to whom our praise is due, now and forever. Your love has embraced us always in wilderness and promised land, in good times and in bad. Night and day your Torah sustains us, reviving the spirit, delighting the heart, informing the soul, opening the eyes, granting us a glimpse of eternity. Because of your love, we shall embrace Torah night and day in devotion and delight. Beloved are you, Adonai, whose Torah reflects your love. our God. Adonai is one. Ve'alta et Adonai Elohecha v'chol levavcha v'chol nafshecha v'chol meodecha v'hayu ha'devarim ha'ele asher anochi metzavcha hayom Alivavecha, Vishinan Tam, Livanecha, Vidibarita, Vam, the Shivaka, Vaveteka, Uberaktaka, Vaderech, Uvishochaka, Uvakumecha, Ukshar Tam Leot, Aliadecha, Vihayuletota Fort, Bene Necha, Uchtav Tam, Vam Mizuzot, Vaveteka, you shall love Adonai your God with all your mind, with all your soul, and with all your strength. Set these words which I command you on this day upon your heart. Teach them faithfully to your children. Speak of them in your home and on your way when you lie down and when you rise up. Bind them as a sign upon your hand. Let them be a symbol before your eyes. Inscribe them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates. Asher hot seid yethem, me eritz mitzrayim, liyod lakem, leiluhim, ani aronai eloheichem. Be mindful of all my mitzvot and do them. Thus you will become holy to your God. I, Adonai, am your God, who brought you out of Egypt to be your God. I, Adonai, am your God. Adonai Eloheichem Emet. Adonai your God is true. Micha Mocha.
Adonai among all that is worshipped, who is like you, majestic in holiness, awesome in splendor, working wonders. O oh God, you are a consolation to your creatures, for in moments of forgetting we but call to mind your care, and we are comforted. When we hope no more, a pattern in the snow reminds us of your loving kindness. Your dawns give us confidence, and sleep is a friend. You are here. We fail words to say, Matov. <coughs> Israel, the Al Yerushalayim. Blessed are you, Adonai, guardian of Israel, whose shelter of peace is spread over us, over all your people Israel, and over Jerusalem. Yit gedav, yit gedash Bealma di Vrachirute, Beamlik Mahute, Bekaye Kon of Yo, Mekon, Ukhae de Ko, Bed Israel, Bagala, Bagala, Uvisman Karib, Bimeru, Amen. Yehe Shebe Rabba Bevara, Leala Mulame, Amaya, Yet Bara. Yit barak vi ishtabach vi pavit romam vi nase vi tadar vi tale vi talal shemir kudishab rikhu leila mi kobe okata vishirata tush bechata vnekemata damiran bealma vi meru Adonai, open my lips that my mouth may declare your praise.
take this moment now to say your own private, silent prayer from your heart. The Torah reading this week, the first aliyah is quite long, so I'm not going to do the whole thing, uh, is Pinchas. Who was Aaron's grandson. He was the son of Abiram, I believe, the one of the sons who was vaporized in the Holy of Holies. So we are reading from the Shabbat Triennial Year number 3, Numbers, chapter 28, verse 16 through eh, 19. <laughs> It just occurred to me that Ellen is not here and she's still recovering probably from the medical procedure she had on Tuesday. She usually interrupts to say amen, <laughs> which is pretty cool. I love it. <laughs> By the way, the, the procedure went well. They won't know probably for a while whether or not it was truly successful, but the procedure went well. Bahu et Adonai Hamevorach Baruch Adonai Hamevorach Leolam Vaed Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Bachar Banu Mikol HaAmin Venatan Lanu Et Torato Baruch Ata Adonai Noten HaTorah Amen Uvachodesh Harishon Be Arba Asar Yom Lachodesh Pesach Ladonai Uvachamisha Asar Yom Lachodesh Hazechag Shiv at yamim matzot yeachel Bayom harishon mikra kodesh Kom lechet avodah lo ta'asu Vehikravtem ishe ola ladonai pari Bakar Shenai No Shenai Shenai Ve'ayil Echad Veshiva Chivasim Bnei Shana Chemimim Yihiu Lachem Bakar 
Much of, if, you, if any of that sounded at all familiar to you, much of Pinchas is um, also recited on, on f some festival days. Particularly for this one, I think it's Pesach, for obvious reasons. In the first month, on the 14th day of the month, there shall be a Passover sacrifice to Adonai. And on the 15th day of that month, a festival. Unleavened bread shall be eaten for seven days. The first day shall be a sacred occasion. You shall not work at your occupations. You shall present an offering by fire, a burnt offering to Adonai, two bulls of the herd, one ram, and seven yearling lambs. See that they are without blemish. That's all I read. Uh, it goes on <laughs> about all of the different uh, procedures for the festivals. Um, it talks about the, it follows this it follows the Passover rolls up with um, Shavuot and uh, and then in uh, chapter 29 it talks about Rosh Hashanah etc etc Pinchas has much more in it besides just the, the rules for Passover, however. The, um, I think, most fascinating part of, uh, one of the more fascinating parts, was the five daughters of Zalachavad. Zalafachad. I'll get it right. Um, Machlach, Noach, uh, Hoglach, Mircha, and Tirza are their names. And it, they're important because women are trying to stand up for themselves today in, a, in a, uh, an atmosphere of oppression. And the daughters of Zalafachad um, did the same thing. Not, not so much oppression, but they were obvious, they were not given their father's inheritance. He, they were his only heirs, and he passed away. Uh, not because of the recent uprising. It doesn't really say it, it said he died for another reason. But the rabbis, our sages, believe that Salafahad was the fellow who was gathering wood on Shabbat and was executed for it. At any rate, um, their request goes like this. Our father died in the wilderness, quote unquote. As such, he is unable to claim the land to which he is entitled. Um, not one of Korach's faction. By distancing their father from Korach, who had rebelled against Aaron, the daughters legitimate, legitimate, legitimatize, I believe, I'm not sure how that was written, uh, themselves in at least two ways. First, they explained that their father did not forfeit his inheritance. Second, they distanced themselves from suspicion of illegitimate challenge to authority. Let not our father's name be lost. Preserving a man's name, that is, his property and legacy, stands out as a venerable obligation in the Bible. And for that reason, I believe, the, the, uh, one of the rules that 
Moses that he talked to God about it, of course, and God said, you know, hey, yeah, they were right. They, they have an absolute right to inherit their father's um, land, quote unquote, that he would have inherited in the Holy Land. But it also indicates that they had to not marry outside of their tribe. Um, in other words, the, the, the name Zalafachad had to be passed on as a tribal thing. They, let me see, give us a holding. I mean, they're demanding. They're absolutely demanding. They're right. Um, note the absence of any polite petitionary language equivalent to please. Instead, the women use the commanding imperative give. Among our father's kinsmen, as some rabbinic sages note, the women make clear their desire to remain connected to community and to family. And this statement adds moral force to their request. And God responds, I said, uh, with an emphatic approval. Rightly, the daughters of Zalafachad speak. Give them a hereditary holding among their father's kinsmen. God issued these two related demands. First, here God decrees that the leaders grant the women's request. God's language practically repeats that of the daughters, emphasizing that their petition be fulfilled in accordance with their request. The one difference strengthens their claim. In an astonishing move, God adds that this land be given, them, given to them as hereditary. Uh, it's the first time in our history that women were given hereditary rights. So it, it, was, it was a big deal. I'm not going to talk about Pinchas and the Covenant of Peace today. <laughs> I'll talk about that at my own services. But uh, at any rate, I think it's important to recognize that Jewish women have a lot of guts. <laughs> Truly have a lot of guts. We've, Reba thinks he died of natural causes. Okay, well, you disagree with the rabbis. That's okay. <laughs> the rabbis often disagreed with each other. So <laughs> it's very possible he died of natural causes. I'm not going to argue with them, but... Uh, Probably true. <laughs> they want what what the rabbis tried to do is they tried to link everything that happens in the Torah to something else that happens in the Torah. That's why they uh, everything they feel that everything has to be connected. Okay. Okay, good. And welcome, Roland. I'm glad you're here. Uh, and Sharon, yes, I. Those are your names for. Uh, those are your names for um, Misha Barrel. Aleinu l'shabeach ladon hakol. La tait gedulal yotze vreshit, shelo asanu kigoye haratzot, velo samanu kemishvechot hadama, shelo sam chelkenu kahem, vegoralenu kechol hamonam, vanachnu korim. Umishtakavim umodim Livne melek malke hamlakim 
HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Ours is the duty to praise the All-Sovereign, to honor the artist of creation who made us unique in the human family with a destiny all our own. For this, we bend our knees and bow with gratitude before the Sovereign Almighty, Monarch of all, the wellspring of holiness and blessing. blessed our ancestors Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, and Leah. Bless and heal those who are ill. I'm saying Misha Bera this week for Lou Moskowitz, a friend of mine. For five people in the my theater club, my local theater club, who exposed me last week to COVID, and they now have it. I don't, I don't think. I've taken one test and it's negative. Their names are Tosca Lees, Sally Glauser, Charla Gay, John and Chrissy Russell. Ellen Rose. Tova Hanna Bakperl, who is recovering from major surgery and near death, I guess. Her son, Yoel Ben Tovachana. Eje Ozeman, Yohevet Rosov Barr, and Seth Robert Barr, and their friend, Sven Leib, who I was contacted yesterday, is much better. Etta Bat Gittel, Ada Bat Chania, Robert Stein and Andrea Graboff, Rachel Bat Benjamin, Moshe Lazar ben Chana and his wife, Ziona bat Chava and Chava bat Elsa, Yosef ben Albert and his family, Batya Malka bat Perochaya, Menashe ben Menachem, Roland and Judy Hansen, Shendel bat Sharon, Chana bat Shendel, all the COVID-19 victims, all sufferers of Ghislaine Barre syndrome, Ukrainian people and their defense forces, all the families and friends of all the mass shootings that we have constantly, every week, sometimes every other day, and the women of the United States. Also, yes, thank you. Um, okay, Dorothy, Mark, Marlene, Jimmy. That's, this is from Susan. Uh, Jean, Robert, Brandon, Corey, Paul, Bob, that's your husband, right? And yourself, and also President Biden, yes. Um, and Sephora, who says, all who suffer from PTSD, including yourself. Yes, absolutely. Uh, I gotta go back to pick up Sharon's names. Sharon's dad, uh, Ephraim Ben Usher, uh, Stephen Jaffe, Stephen Jaffe, 
uh, Georgette Meyerwitz, Lynn and family, Loris and Christina, Ronnie, Rabbi Galit, Ellen, Ellen uh, Rose, President Biden, Daniel Jaffe, all who need any type of healing, Carrie, Eric, Gabe, Naomi, and Beverly. Yes, it has been a busy, it's been a crazy week. Albert is saying Misha Berach for Valerie, Aaron, Maddie, Trey, Malcolm, Mayo, Amy, Tova, Beth, and her father, Rose, Rabbi, Galit, Albert, our President of the United States, and our loving pets. And Roland is saying Misha Berach for Adam Hansen. Uh, Ziona is praying for Sakari Bat Ani, Chava Bat Elsa, Pearl Bat Ethel, Siona Bat Chava, Benjamin Noah Ben Chaya, Elizabeth Bat Margaret, all those with COVID, the survivors of violence and war. Marvin? Um, President Biden. Um, that's about it. Okay. And Sharon also says, and all the doctors and therapists and nurses and clergy, she's saying thank you to all. Troy. Well, for everybody, the victims of the Greenwood and Park Mall shooting, and then there, what you guys don't know but nationally, but after the Greenwood Park Mall shooting, about a couple of hours later, there was another shooting at a park about 20 to 30 minutes from the mall. I did hear that. But I don't know who, who I don't know what, ha what happened, if they, how many were injured or how many were killed or what. I just know that there was a shooting. Yeah, I heard that and I heard that they don't know much. <laughs> And I'm praying for the, the Maccabea games that started last week. And they're all playing in there. It's kind of fun. And then they have the sequoia trees. But they're burning in the fire. They're trying to save the sequoias from the yeah, they, wildfires. I haven't heard anything lately about them. But they've set up some kind of sprinkler system. But it's not going to save them. No. And, and then my dad's, my nephew and his wife has COVID. So my dad is, has to deal with COVID this week. And he's not a good camper. He's, he doesn't, he makes up his own medical rules. He doesn't go by what, he makes up his own stuff. Where he comes up with it, I don't know. Wow. And Ziona says and you she, can't try, and you can't talk him out of it. He's so <laughs> I totally understand. <laughs> I, yeah, I can't hear anybody else. Talk anything out of it. Um, <laughs> thank you. And Ziona says she's having a having to make a tough medical treatment decision. So we want to pray for your, for Hashem to guide you in the right direction. Reba says, if you tell us your situation, we can help you make a decision. <laughs> now nah, let God do it. <laughs> uh, I understand. Oh boy, do I understand. Reba sends healing energy throughout the universe. And, oh, that's good. Thank you, Susan. I'm glad. I'm so glad. <laughs> but, yeah. Okay.
Blessed Holy One be filled with compassion for their health to be restored and their strength to be revived. May God swiftly send them a complete renewal of body and spirit and let us say Amen. Reba, don't you think God is the universe? Oh, I guess you could say that. But when it comes to this situation, um, Ziona just has to make up her decision based on, you know, weighing the weighing all the options. None of them look good. None of the options really look good, yeah. what she's saying. But she just has to make a decision. This is not in God, this is not in, in God's hands. She has to make her decision. Just depending on God is like, you know, she might as well throw a dice in the air. I, I understand your, your viewpoint. And yes, I, I have. To and if you want to throw a dice in your air, because all, all choices she'll, look she'll equally as bad. She'll make, she'll make a good decision. Yeah, just throw a dice in the air. Well, two of them look worse, so I've narrowed it down to two. <laughs> Okay, good. Then it's a coin. Then it's a coin toss. <laughs> but but you know, two of them have terrifying side effects, and the other two have bad side effects. So all right. Well, would the surgery would that like put an end to all medicine and everything? It would, but I would I would um, not be able to digest food properly for the rest of my life. So oh, so. So how would you eat? Uh, I would digest food somewhat, but not normally. Oh. Okay, let's continue. Yeah, okay. let's, let's continue. Baruch Atta Adonai, Rofei HaCholim. The Mourner's Scottish. I'm saying Kaddish this week for Terry Humphrey, a friend of mine who just died a couple of weeks ago. She was, she shared Bob's birthday, so they were exactly the same age. Shiron ben Avraham Vasara, the millions of victims of the coronavirus, the victims of racial violence, in injustice and gun violence. All those killed in the Ukrainians and Russians who were killed in Putin's war. Sharon is saying Kaddish for all those who don't have anyone to say Kaddish for them and for David Reina. I love that name. I knew a girl named Reina. She was a little Israeli baby. And um, it's a long story. I'm not going to go into it. Ziona is praying for all those who perished from COVID, from gun violence, and from war. Reba, sa Reba says Kaddish for those who have no one to say Kaddish for them. Ziona, Do you, are you saying Kaddish for anybody in particular? Um, you already no, did. You already did. I'm sorry. No one in particular besides what you already read. Okay. Thank you. Troy. Uh, well, for you had the three victims from the Greenwood shooting. It was a man and his wife and this other man. And they were all Hispanic. I can't. And then they had a bunch of kids. They were, they shot a lot of kids. Yeah, then a, a kids. A fundraiser this weekend to help the victims. I don't know what they're selling. Like, they they were playing with dough. So, 
maybe pizza or something. And let's see. Yes. I don't think anybody in particular. <laughs> Okay, uh, Marvin. Francis Johnson. And Sue Bowers. Nobody. Okay. Sephora. Please join me in the Mourners Kaddish. it a dark, it I have a medical shop, break May our right hand bring us closer to our godliness. May our left hand give us strength to face each day. Shalom. The 
Sima Shalom Zoom Irrigation. And thank you for joining me today. And some of you I will see at my own services tomorrow and Saturday. Um, and the rest of you, Shavua Tov. Shabbat Shalom and Shavua Tov. <laughs> I love you all. Shalom, everyone. Bye. Bye. Thank you, Sephora. <laughs>